Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, Kila. So, we used to build our custom activities and previously with the code in the legacy as a class like this. And then later, UiPath introduced Activity Creator as a plugin and we used to create very easily. And now, UiPath deprecated that Activity Creator and we have, they have provided us like with the UiPath SDK, Software Development Kit. And we will see in these video series how we are going to build our custom activity, publish it and use it back into the UiPath Studio. So for that, we need to download uipath.activities.template.zip, which is in the GitHub. And I'll provide this link in the description so that like you can download it. And also we need to have our Visual Studio 2022 to be installed. It can be a community edition or enterprise or professional. So I'll be opening, opening my Visual Studio and we need to download this uh, activities.template. So I already have downloaded, here it is, activities template. So these are the file, file structures we are going to have inside of this and we need to extract and we need to place it in the project template. So to see like where we need to keep, we'll click on continue without code. And under the tools, we'll go to the options. And in this, we'll go under project and solutions and location. And here, so I placed my extracted uh, zip files from the UiPath activity template to this particular folder. So I'll just quickly go to that folder. So these are my template files for UiPath SDK I have. And now we will cancel this and we'll come to we'll see like how we are going to create our new project as a uh, actor for custom activity. So we'll select the new project and in the search, we will be typing UI path. And here we can see UI path activities template and the description is create an activities packet for UI path systems. So we will select it. And now here we will give the, our name, custom activity names. So path to do dot calculator dot activities so dot activity should be always uh, need to be there next at the end at the suffix and we will i'll be storing it in my custom activities folder under d drive so you can change your location in case if you want to store it in some other location and we'll click on create so my project uh, so, uh, custom activity solution was created and now if you see these names are still uh, with the activities.template. So we will come back to them. And first let us understand, we have three projects under this. This is the template where we will be building our entire activity code and uh, design and everything. And packaging is to create our nugget package. Even if it is not there also, we can go with nugget package explorer, but we, uh, we have this packaging and temp test is like to test our activities. So this is how the folder structure looks like. And let me expand this template, like which we more uh, we are more con required like to write our custom activity. So activity template.cs is the activity file where we will be building our entire functional logic of our custom activity, what it was supposed to do, right? And view models, activity template view model.cs. This is where like we are going to build our design of our activity, like in terms of like what you want to see in terms of uh, an interface of the activity and all. So we will deep dive into everything and we will start building our activities. So first let us rename these uh, project names. So let me open my folder where I have created my custom activities. So these are the name I have given to it. So I will rename this, rename and put activity. I'll rename. See, we need to make sure that like dot packaging should be there and rest everything I can change. And right click, rename. We need to have the tests also. We cannot change it. So we will just replace the entire other. And now we renamed our projects, but if we go to this, 
still the namespace is uipath.activities.template so which are going which is going to create still it is having their old name so i'll right click on this and i'll simply say sync namespaces and it will show me how uh, what are the different changes it is suggesting to me right so i'll just click on apply so all these namespaces are got renamed to our custom activity uh, whatever the rename uh, name we have given right and now we will go to this particular folder and under this activities still we have the wrong naming convention the old name is still available i'll close this and i'll click on save and i'll rename all this again here also we need to keep the packaging open it should be there and even for the tests as well like we need to have the suffix and now our re renaming is happened and now let us go to each and everything and so yeah everything is like working at this point now what we need to do we will open this into a notepad and see wherever we have the previous names right those we need to change but i think everything is got changed calculator dot activity is calculated but if we see here it's not there we need to rename these we need to rename till template and we need to rename till template so now let us see if anything is like having activity dot templates activities dot template there is nothing so i will save this and close this off and now i can open this and i can see like if any errors are there or not the uh, error is occurred with the activities template.c okay so somewhere uh, in the resources if i go here into the resources of here we'll go to the metadata I click on this and we'll see wherever we have we will be changing it so activities template packaging id i'll just move this as well and do i have somewhere templates i'll this Done, save. I click and open folder in Project Explorer. Under this, why do we have this activity? Not have. So I already have this. Go here. I'll just delete this. Not required. Now I'll just close this and I'll try to reopen if the error is still persistent. Uh, it's still opening. Let me open this file. Now I should be able to open it. And I want to just make sure that like nothing is uh, going wrong and I'll just in each and every package, right? I'll go there in each and every project, what, wherever I have your dot dot template, I'll change it to my actual uh, path rule dot calculators dot activities. It will be changing everywhere, wherever I have. Uh, have anywhere there is nothing i can control save yes and in this also if i have a template i change because these actually loads the dependencies required for our custom activity and now it looks like everything is good and let me come back to this and if i have anywhere a template thing looks to be cool I'm just saving it and I'll just go to the build and I'll just try to build the solution. Just make I'm trying to make sure that like there is nothing uh, 
there is no issue. So the three are about succeeded, zero is failure, and zero is up to date, and zero. Like all my three projects under this solution are like now good to go for developing of my custom activity. So in the next video, we are going to build our custom activity and then we will test, uh, do the design of the activity as well. And hope you like the video and stay tuned for the next videos. And thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe to Skill RPA YouTube channel.